Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Opening statements were given today in the murder trial of Pike County resident James Huffman IV in the stabbing death of Michael Hogg. As expected, the Commonwealth painted the situation as a clear case of murder. Also as expected, the defense painted the case as a situation of self-defense by a frightened and outnumbered man. There was no indication that the defendant had any cuts or anything consistent with someone that had been attacked with a knife or a weapon. And that the only people that got stabbed were these three young men. And the only one that got killed as a result of multiple stab wounds, all of which but one on the inside of the arm and the two there on the front were in the back, was Michael. An item in the case that factored heavily into today's openings was a bottle of liquor allegedly stolen from Hogg and his companions by James Huffman and the group's attempts to retrieve it from Huffman. And you're going to see my Hogg, Christopher Puckett, and Stacy Phillips come to that table where Mr. Huffman is and form a semicircle around him. You'll be able to tell what's going on that they, they didn't come in to buy a drink. They didn't come in to see anyone else. They came down, and I think it's gonna be absolutely clear, to find James Huffman. That's what they did. They came to find James Huffman. Over a $18 and some odd cents bottle of whiskey. Around 30 people were in the courtroom for opening statements, including Hogg's mother. After openings, witness testimony got underway. Hogg's father was called to the stand and became emotional while talking about his late son. Did you ever have a chance to speak with your son? No, sir. He, he was already deceased when we got there. One of the men who survived also allegedly being stabbed by James Huffman testified about the events of New Year's Eve 2013 and New Year's Day 2014 and the death of Michael Hogg. It, it looked like after Christopher had gotten stabbed that Michael had maybe grabbed Huffman to try to keep him away from us and they ended up on the ground rolling around and I did see his hand raise up and stab him in the back and uh, that's when I ran over there to try to, try to stop him from stabbing him. Witness testimony continued into the evening and is expected to continue into tomorrow. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.